So we're at the airport and we just had to go through baggage claim. Um, and there's like another section of baggage claim now apparently that is way faster. Um, just imagine if we were in the other one but, but we got held up a little bit because we have our um, block our uh, equipment and it's probably just a lot of different metals and stuff that set the alarm off and it wouldn't go through clear so they had to do it do an extra check so um <laughs> Yeah, it was interesting. They were cool, but I mean, I can see being stopped for that. Like, I've been like patted down before for like light bags, um, and you know, but yeah. So we just had to go through that, and we're headed to the um, sub train thingy to take us to our um, flight. So we can get on this long flight that we're gonna be on all day. Oh my God. But y'all let me know if y'all had to go through like pre-check, if y'all had any like unique stories at pre-check.
LAX and we are going to our connecting flight. I have to use the bathroom. I was holding it probably for the last hour of the flight. I actually did good because it was a really good movie that I haven't finished watching and I hope they have it on the next plane that kept my attention. So, um, but now I need to go in. Plus, I don't really like, I was sitting by the window and I don't like to disturb other people by getting up on the plane. So, I just waited. Um, so now we're gonna find one once we get closer to our gate and then we'll probably get something to eat. Here to LAX it was pretty decent. We found a couple movies. What did you think of that movie? I have been wanting to First see of all, Morgan for a while, and it was compared. Know. Yeah, I, I showed it to you. I was like, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, and it was compared to a Machina in a lot of ways. Um, I feel like, I mean, even though the girl did the job, you know, until I finally realized that she was probably one of them, um, or like the girl Morgan. Yeah. I was like, dang, is she gonna really is she gonna fight? <laughs> but it was it was pretty good. They almost lost me at the point where I saw her kept getting like she kept getting beat up. Like she would get a hit in now every now and then. But anyway, yeah, I like yeah, X Machida. Yeah, I did like X Machida. If you guys haven't seen that, check that out. But Morgan was pretty good. I mean time to you to watch X Machida. A lot. I wish I had seen it sooner. I'm actually mad because I feel like there should be like another one. I don't know where they would go. I mean, no, no, no. I take it back. They could go further with the story. Like, like what did she do when she got away? How did she adapt to the world? Spoilers for anyone who has seen it. It's not oh yeah, oops. I'm sorry. But yeah, um, Morgan was good. Um, I don't know. I just feel like. It could have I mean, been a little deeper. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I was about to say. Like, it could have been a little deeper. Because when she looked like... Are you real? Yeah. And, you know, Why didn't you tell me what, what you I love was? Me? Like, would you love me? That whole interrogation. Yeah. I think they were touching on some things, but they didn't really stick the landing. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's, it's, it's kind of like a sci-fi thriller. They, they didn't take that next step that, you know, Ex Machina took that just made it kind of like, you know, you examine your whole humanity almost yeah <laughs> like yeah yeah it was good um kate mara continues to uh give good performances uh i enjoyed it, it was good. i did now there's another um movie i found on there the book of love or the love book or the book the love book, book, of, love. book of love that i I pressed it and didn't realize it had subtitles and then babe say something said something about it um, but then I was like you know what let me give it a chance only because the problem that I have with subtitles especially when you're watching it I guess on the big screen like when we're home if you watch it on a, for me when I watch a movie with subtitles on a big screen I feel like you know everybody in America pretty much has a, a big screen so it's the, the picture the that, visuals is so big everybody in America does not have a big screen well, if they sell it at Goodwill, like if Goodwill ain't taking big oh, yeah. backs anymore, the, the back I'm ones, assuming yeah. they're pretty, pretty much. I mean, everybody, buy, okay, so everybody might have a flat screen, but oh, everybody might not have a big screen. Oh, okay. But I get, we get, we get what you. Y'all get what I'm saying? You okay. Be to yeah, no, I'm not. Pal. Yeah, I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, Goodwill won't even accept your fat back no more. So I'm until cool. I met my husband. I we had a fat back <laughs> so I mean I ain't trying to like class up or down I'm just saying but so when you're watching a, a flat screen and more so a big screen I'm saying it for a reason is you want to see that all of the visuals so when you have to look down all the time like at the subtitle you're doing like this you're trying to see what they're doing and, and you're reading at the same time I, I, I like I feel cross-eyed 
like I can't really get into it now we did just watch watch a movie that what's that movie where they did a good job they were speaking another language but it was subtitled no 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 it was kind of off were they speaking another language yeah they were speaking another language and we were like oh they doing good with changing it to English oh we just watched it like a couple of weeks ago it's gonna be honest no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so anyway, but the reason why I said, you know what, I'm gonna just continue on the plane is because we were watching the TV that's on the back of the seat. Oh, she's thinking about, um, she's talking about the 3%. It was a yes. show on Netflix. Yeah. But I wanted to watch it in the native, like, Brazilian, Portuguese, or whatever. Which would have had subtitles. Um, but she, no, she wanted to dub. And, and I dub. think they did good. It's kind of cheesy, really good. but it, it worked for yeah. the episode. Yeah. I, I rewatched the last episode um, with subtitles in Portuguese. Okay. Because sometimes, like when you're an actor and you uh, put inflection on certain things, like the dub person doesn't do it the same way that the person actually acting does. Right. So right. I wanted to get that last, um, you know, episode with the like right inflections and the right, you know, passion behind every tone. You know? Right, but um, so I just like I said, I said you know I'll watch it because my eyes it was you know small distance in viewing, um, but it's so good and I'm not gonna really talk about it right now because just in case they decide to watch it at some later date, I don't know if you will or not because it's definitely telling a really good story. It is so good and I'm not done it either, um, but it's 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 good. Uh, so yeah, we, we uh, it, it got me through the five hour flight because next thing you know, it was, we were there, we were here. <laughs> so that's always good. So I think the ride from the flight from here to um, Hawaii is what, three hours, three and a half hours? Yeah, so we have another three and a half hours. We're supposed to arrive there about like 9.44 or something like that. So we'll see you guys when we get to Maui. <laughs> Like, you know, get up. 
so right when they were the, um, we're on the inside of the aisle, right? Yeah. <laughs> we got, you know, right when um, we got up, they, they were about to let me out of the Look, it was sitting on the seat. Like, it did come out of my back pocket, but it came out of my back pocket in the seat. So I'm so happy because that would have been a situation I'm like getting back to security when we come back, you know, that would have been a so <laughs> that's why I was almost thinking about us taking our passports just for backup. Because that's, that's one thing I'm always careful of too. Not having an ID. ID in a minute. Yeah. I have to use my old student ID. I'd have been pulling out like, look, this is me. I'd have been pulling out all the credit cards and business cards and my work ID. But, I mean, everything I could have out of for my social media, my bank, and bitch, like, please don't make me. Like, I would love to see him in Hawaii, but uh, I need my ID. Okay? So, yeah, I had to get on and let y'all know the shenanigans that I almost put, your, put my boo through in the plane because I would have needed them to wait and let me go see. I would have been a calling your manager moment, huh? <laughs> Baby, I call the manager about everything. Anyway, so we are now on our second flight to Maui, and this is longer than the first flight apparently. It's going to be five hours. We got to LAX in four hours and 20 minutes. So, let's see now some we here. <laughs>